Hello and welcome to a new video. This one's going to be the UIM Loki progress series video number 10. It's pretty crazy that we managed to hit 10 of these things. I've been having a blast making them as I always say and we even managed to hit 100 subscribers in the last video so thank you guys for the immense support. It's been really 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 eye-opening honestly. And for the occasion of the 10th video, we got a monumental video coming in for you guys. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. We got a good one for you. Well, there's Morning Zen Part 1 completed. Now we do the hard one. <laughs> Alright. Let's see this part of the quest. 81 agility is not too bad. Okay, apparently it's not good enough. We're also going to be trying to pray flick this whole maze without... Any prayer potions or food to save on inventory space? All right, third try is the charm. We sort of failed at the pray flicking, so we're gonna grab some food and come back. Round two. Can we get a first try? All right, that's like pretty good, man. I think I failed that like five times on the main. All right. That's the maze puzzle complete. Didn't take too long. Well, it took like 30 minutes or so, so not bad at all. And here's the infamous item list. Gotta make sure to leave the door open on the way out. That way we can get back in later. Thankfully, this shop has like every single thing we need. Honestly, it has like 10 things that we need. It straight up gave us 13 things, 13 of the items out of 50 that shop. It's pretty crazy. And uh, the coal mentor's chest will give us a bunch of items we need too. You're a pretty weird dude, uh, Thorgal. I'll just give you all this random shit. A lot of people don't like Morning Zen Part 2, because it's like, oh my god. We really did that, didn't we? We locked ourselves out. Uh... So supposedly we could get back to uh, Thorgal from some place, some crevice over here in the uh, Underground Pass. I've never had to do this, so I don't know. Okay, is that it? Nice. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, I don't really mind this part of the quest. I kind of actually like it. It's like, how well do you know RuneScape? How quickly can you gather 50 miscellaneous items? You know, if you can do it quickly, it's sort of a testament to how much of a uh, RuneScape expert you are. All right, that should be the last of it. Um, oh yeah, 200, 200 IQ move right here, boys. Check this out. We need to give him a face mask. Yeah, got a face mask, of course. Oh, there's the talisman. All right, so let me do that, right? And then we do that. I think we just finished the quest. We saved the Temple of Light. We cured the Black Plague. Oh, Morning Zen Part 2 completed. 20k agility XP. Ooh, 82 agility. Lava Maze shortcut. Not bad, boys, not bad. That was pretty fun. So, uh... That was the last quest requirement we need for Song of the Elves, which means, uh, I guess we go get level 70 construction, which is, should be pretty chill. It turns out we have 1.2 mil, and we need 1.7 mil for uh, 70 construction, plus, you know, another 7 or 8 mil for 80 construction. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and grind out some GPs before we start this. All right, so we decided to do Blast Furnace Myth Plate Bodies for a bit of money. Uh, so we need 1.7 mil for 70 construction, and we actually profit around 1 point something, 1.2, 1 1.2 GP per XP here. So I'm just going to double check that. We're starting this off with 862762. We're gonna buy an inventory of Myth Ore and two inventories of coal. So 85237. So we spent 12k. 525 on those. Hop to Blast Furnace. Pick them up. Hop back. So 12, 525. We're also using five nature runes per run, and we bought these for 202 each. That would be 1,010. So we're spending 1353. So remember this number. This is what we cost. This is our cost. So we're profiting 2,065 GP per run. That assumes that we're buying uh, nature runes for 202, which is just what you would get if you bought this, the Mage Guild shop stock all the way from 250 the max to the, the, the empty. And if you're buying uh, fully stocked things here. So we're starting this grind with 865K. We'll be getting like a million experience here by getting enough for 70 construction, which will get us uh, 
around level 80 smithing, so uh, should be pretty fun. Okay, level 76 smithing. Uh, that's going to be the first level of the grind. We're getting around 82,000 82, smithing XP per hour, as well as just under 20k magic XP. So this is going to give us probably a couple magic levels along the way. But we're definitely planning to optimize, optimize this method. Currently, we don't really know what we're doing. We're just sort of feeling it out a bit. So someone told me that the tick perfect method was like 150k XP per hour, which we would def that's like twice, twice as good as what we're doing. So apparently we're being like 50% efficient. So we're gonna work on getting those numbers up. What is happening? Why is there so much love? 77 smithin. Ayo, 78 smithin. Item and square shields, crystal bows. What? Crystal equipment? All right. All right, 79 smithing. Adam and more hammer. These uh, levels are coming in pretty slow now. 80 smithing is gonna be real nice though. We got a 1.5 mil cash stack. Just gonna reuse up the rest of these nature runes and we'll head over to uh, finish off construction. Uh, there was 79 magic, was not expecting that. Entangle, all right. That's actually pretty useful for some stuff. That's level 80 smithing. Wow, that looks pretty nice. Um, I think we're gonna stop there for now. We're pretty excited to go get Song of the Elves done, and we have enough GP for 70 construction uh, with a few hundred K to spare. So we're gonna go start construction and then go get Song of the Elves done. All right, first level of the grind coming in here. Seven more to go. There's two to the sixth construction. It's a pretty fun level. We would be getting a lot more uh, XP an hour if we had a rune pouch and we were teleporting to the house, and we have the inventory to support it. But the rune pouch costs like a thousand Slayer points, and I'm probably not going to do Wildy Slayer to get it, so we'll probably get like two-thirds of the XP rates just running back and forth instead of teleporting. Uh, 67 woodcutting. It's kind of nice we're getting our last two requirements up at the same time, and they should be level 70 around the same time too, which is pretty cool. That's a level. Now we need five more. Superior Garden. Alright, that's actually really good. 162. That's not great, but it's alright. I mean, we'll take it. Oh yeah. You love to see it. Alrighty. 66 construction. And there's 68. 68 woodcutting, rather, in the same trip. Medium clue nest. Okay. Alright. Ooh. Elite clue nest. Let's see if we can do it. They can find the entrance. Yeah. No. Edgeville Monastery. Any god book. I don't, I don't think an unfinished god book's gonna work, but we'll try it real quick. Yeah, big rip. That's a shame, because this is like the easy, I mean, you could pay like, I don't know, like 5k for a Saradamon book, but unfortunately for Iron Man, it's a bit different. You need to get the book still, and it's hard to get. But unfortunately for Iron Man, all the books are the same value in terms of how hard they are to get. Wow, we're, we're getting pretty lucky with these drops. First an elite clue nest, then the spirit seed, and then a hard clue nest. Let's see if it's a wilderness step. That's doable. Let's go do it real quick. Rogue's castle, man. Not not happening. Just can't do it. We'd like to be able to plant this spirit seed, but we're one level away from being able to boost to plant it. That'll be pretty convenient when we do, though. We'll put it in Brim Brimhaven, probably, because that's currently the hardest to access out of all the spirit tree locations. Slowly but surely, 67 construction. Medium clue nest. What do we get? Uh, okay. This is the level that's one before 70, which is the level we need for the quest. 68 construction. This is just like a little micro efficiency that was something I would never consider to even think about before having a UIM. We just got a palm tree seed from a bird's nest, right? And normally what you would do, I mean, I kind of want 16K farming XP, so sure, I'll plant that. But you got to plant it, water it, wait five minutes for it to grow. And then in the meantime, you're just like doing nothing, right? I don't want to do construction without like a, an optimal inventory, I guess. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna talk to this dude. He sells us all kinds of stuff. We just so happen to be near a tree patch because otherwise this might not be so efficient, but there it is, we put it in there. You know, rather than doing inefficient construction for like five minutes, because you know, oak larders is what we're doing. It takes up 24 inventory spots because it's each oak larder is eight planks times three is, you know, three oak larders per inventory. So we wouldn't be able to do three oak larders. We'd have to do like two oak larders and then like some other shit. And that's just sort of inefficient. Luckily, we have this time consuming method available to us. You know, we ran out of willow logs for our balloon transport to go back to the sawmill in Varrock. So we're just going to, uh, you know, AFK this for five minutes while we fill up our balloon store. When I'm, when I'm saying it, it doesn't seem that cool. But like in my head, I was like, oh yeah, that's going to be perfect. It's going to work out just fine. Hard clue nests. Let's open it up. Okay. I mean, that will take that, whatever. Well. There's the level before level 70. Get in. 
Very, very close. 69K. Huh, interesting. 69K left at level 69 and almost level 70 woodcutting. So final home stretch. We can see the light. Oh, 70 woodcutting. That's what you love to see, man. Song of the Elves. The last thing we need is 70 construction. We're getting there. We're going to get that in like uh, an hour. So we'll be doing Song of the Elves today. Wow. <laughs> we made it. Oh, 70 construction. Oh my god. I can't believe we made it, honestly. I mean, this has been a journey. Like, 373k, that's like, and I guess that's like over the last 40 hours, we gained, uh, we spent about 25% of our time doing this. We've been doing it pretty, pretty lax, because we don't, it's sort of like, just like a chill thing to do. But I can't, I really can't, I don't know, man, like, we were ready for Song of the Elves. This has been like the goal of the account for like, since we started this, this has been the ultimate goal. So, uh, I guess we just go ahead and start it, right? I don't know. 70 herb lore. Man, I just like, this seems so far away a month ago, but we're here. We have all the stats. We're almost 1750 total. I just want to take a second, like, soak all this in. It's unbel It's sort of unbelievable that we're here. I know for you it's only been a couple minutes. Okay, I guess enough of that. We'll, we'll go ahead and start the quest. Alrighty, boys. We are ready to start the quest. This is going to be our setup pretty full inventory but uh we just got graceful and then we already completed the first section of items that we need so let's see how this goes it's currently 7 30 p.m we're gonna try and finish it by 1 a.m probably not gonna happen because we're probably gonna need 80 magic for the final fight we don't have that but um we just went for like a five mile run ate like a two pound steak took a shower got some tea here and we are ready to sit down and grind this bad boy out all right well the first instance fight is coming up we're taking no food and no potions hopefully we can teleport out if we need to but i don't think we'll need to it should be pretty easy i think i don't really remember doing this on my other account All right, still haven't lost our bank. I remember doing this quest on the day of release without quest guide. It was a lot of fun, but this part was like pretty annoying. It took me forever to get the black dagger. So Song of the Elves is notoriously known among Iron Man to be a quest that requires a rune bar. We used to have one for a while that we got from magpies, but we ended up dropping it for inventory space. So we're gonna come over here and kill a rune dragon. Hopefully we can do it with what we have. And then we'll get the rune bar. And if not, then we'll try again until we get it, because this is like the only way we have, so good luck us. Jesus. Okay, that did not work. And this guy's probably just gonna finish him off. So we're gonna have to find an empty world so we can do it in like three trips or whatever. We have to walk here from Varrock every time, which kind of takes a while. Probably not worth it to go and make a dig site am amulet. Hopefully we'll just do it with this. This should be enough to do it, honestly. Okay, clearly we were wrong. This was not enough. Uh, all right. All right, five minutes hopping. We found an empty world. Let's do this. So honestly, coming into this, we didn't really think this was going to be much of a problem, but it ended up being a pretty big problem because, I mean, rune dragons are pretty crowded with people trying to make money on their rune dragon alts. It took us forever to find a world. We finally found a world. Uh, the method here is we just do as much damage as possible. We teleport to Camelot, unnote our monkfish, uh, cook as many as we can without burning them, and then, you know, replace the ones that we burned and try and teleport back as soon as possible. We use the explorer's ring to recharge our energy. We come back, we try and attack the right dragon, which took a while as well, because uh, we keep getting aggroed by the other dragons, so we have to walk under them and lose aggro, and they're attacking us, and then the other ones attack us, and we lose food. Um, 
and then just rinse and repeat. We only we only had about you know we only had four charges on the on the ring, so the chances of us you know if we didn't manage to complete it on the first attempt, if like someone stole one of our dragons, you know, it'd just be even less likely to complete it because we wouldn't have access to the energy recharging function to get back there quicker. But luckily, we managed to do it. So I'll cut back to the live commentary. Wow, we actually got it. Now let's hope, pray to God this is our kill. It's our kill, there's the rune bar. Wow, I am honestly impressed. I did not think we were gonna get that. That's pretty sick. We'd probably just save ourselves like two hours at Magpies trying to find this. Now we need a, a Cadentine scene, but luckily we have Airborne Spectres as our Slayer task, so. Hopefully that won't take too long. It's a 1 in 200 drop, so good. It's just like a really tiny thing, but this Cadentine seed drop could have taken us two hours to get. And luckily it was just like 10 minutes. So that's pretty nice. And I can move on with the quest. All right. We made it to the library part of the quest. So supposedly the hardest, longest, most annoying part. Let's do it. All right, books. I'm coming for you this time. All right. Second try. Not bad. Okay, we actually need to fail now because it's faster to drop down instead of run all the way back because we messed something up, so. Okay, we're just too good at it. Oh, there we go. Nice, nice. All right, books. First try. Can we get it? I think that's it. Yeah, boy. This area took me forever to figure out how to access the first time I was doing the quest because I didn't see these books. So I was like, how the hell do you get over here? But it's a lot easier when you have a guide. All right, we got one more of these to go. 22 mirrors. 26, rather. Yeah, I remember doing this. I ruined the whole thing because I put the green crystal here when I did it without the quest guide. I might... But if you put the green in the sign, they both make it green, so it's weird. I had like come... It took me like 20 minutes to figure out what was wrong with one crystal in one spot. All right, there's the last one. Got all these lasers coming in here. Fun fact, spam the stick trap to not take damage no matter what. Instance fight number 400. We just safe spotted the melee guy by standing here? Okay. <laughs> Orb of light. I've always wanted to bump into UAM to run in, but I never have. All right, another instance fight. This one's the first actual hard one, but uh, there is a reclaim thing. You pay 80K and you get all your stuff back. So we're not risking the account like the other ones. What a traitor. Can't believe it, run in. I thought he like got us with that bomb attack thing. Okay, nice. That was like really easy. I don't think he did any damage to us, did he? Also, it's pretty pretty snazzy if, to like see someone using a. Uh... Oh my god! You said a fifty? Jesus! I did not know he could hit that high. We could have died like a bunch of times already. I was just gonna say the fishing cape was snazzy. There it is. We made it to the final fight. Um, that's pretty fucking cool. These visuals are pretty sick, honestly. I'm pretty impressed with that. We are not ready for this fight yet. Um, so the final boss, Saren, in order to kill her without a trident, you sort of need like blood blitz or something. Um, we only have 79 magic and we need 80 magic for that. So we're gonna go grind out 80 magic. We're also gonna need to grind out like a thousand blood runes and 2000 death runes. That way we're like guaranteed to kill her if we, uh, as long as we keep hitting. So we're gonna go do that and then we'll come back and finish the fight. But we made it to the final fight, boys. We were, I don't know why I'm running to the bank. I'm just so used to like teleporting there and running to this bank. But uh, pretty sure it's not gonna work. Maybe, maybe they updated it. If we, maybe there's like an update with the bank. No, yeah. Doesn't let you. That's okay. Um, but um, yeah, we made it to the final fight. I'm pretty, pretty psyched. We're definitely not gonna be able to finish it tonight, unfortunately, which would be really cool. But um, I mean, for you guys, it won't really matter anyway. You'll be able to just see it as it happens, and it'll happen in like five minutes. So I wish I was you, but I'm gonna have to grind 80 magic, which is gonna take a bit. So we'll see. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'll figure it out. So we decided to do some inefficient borrows to get all the blood. We need like a thousand blood runes per attempt and like 2000 death runes. So we'll just do like, I don't know, 10, 20 chests, see what we get. Maybe we'll even get an arms piece, which will help out a lot for the fight too. And this will be training our magic. So we're using magic dart for those of you who have never played before 2008 and have never seen this spell before. All right, first ever borrows chest on the account. Let's see. Cool, I mean, that's fine. That's great. 
We all we need is right now is runes, so I mean we'll take it. Currently, uh, our inefficient means to do this is home telly, prayer altar, and then the carol telly, and then take the boat down there. All right, chest number two. What do we get? Elite clue and death runes. Nice. We need all of this stuff. That's just great. Great stuff. Uh, rune boots. Oh, okay. Unfortunately. I guess we could start taking these to Watson. Yeah, let's, let's go bring it to Watson real quick. Also, we're going to make some dueling rings because uh, it's chest number four. Chest number three. Getting a little too optimistic, but that's fine. Honestly, runes is exactly what we're here for, so we'll take them. I am really bad at keeping track, but I think it's chest number four. Yeah. Uh, perfect. Nice. Cool. So I feel like most of you probably know this, but I feel like I may as well say it. You can safe spot any of the uh, melee brothers in the Barrows dungeon just by going to where the ladder would be. There's no ladder here. Our ladder is in this room over here, but uh, the ladder would be here. And so it still renders they get stuck on it. Chest number 15. Nice. Just kidding. Number five. All right. No blood rings. Sort of like just realizing that I'm missing 300 Toad Flag Seeds and 300 Heartlander Seeds. Uh, I was really looking forward to planting those Toad Flag Seeds. I'm not, and I have no clue what, where they are. So, yeah. Blood runes? Yeah, that's a lot of blood runes. So we're just gonna check Zora, I guess, for those missing 300 Toad Flag Seeds and Heartlander Seeds. I have no idea. She doesn't have anything. I mean, like... What? That's like 500k Herbler XP between both of them. We even have Toad Flax in Harland, or we've been planting them. So like, we have this one Toad Flax seed here that we just put in there because we thought we were adding it to a stack of Toad Flax seeds. I'm, I'm at a loss. I guess I'll have to go back to the clips and see if I can find what happened. We are ready to telly if this guy is gonna hit through our prayer. Gonna loot the chest and telly. All right, that's what I thought, Varix. Uh, <laughs> you. All right, we got our first piece here. Torax plate legs. Uh, or tank legs, colloquially known. But, uh, I don't know if we're gonna be hanging on to those. I suppose we have to. I don't know. Well, I still have to think about that. Hey, blood runes. Pretty sure that these Torag legs aren't really useful to us. So, uh, we definitely prefer to get... 165k instead of some Torax legs. So, gonna gonna go ahead and elk those. It's nice knowing you, buddy. Gonna be the last chest of the night. What do we get? Mm, all right, that's fine. First chest of the day. Ooh, okay. Uh, and blood runes. Wow, Carol's skirt, huh? Um. Hmm. So Carol's skirt. The stats are not even that much better than Black Dehyde. You know, we get plus seven magic defense, plus two range defense, and then and then melee defense bonuses are worse. All in all, it's worse. You get plus nine projectile defense and minus 15 melee defense. No back to back. And we get some cool stuff maybe. That's pretty cool. We just made uh, three more dueling rings to get us 24 more chests in. We're at, we're close to a thousand blood runes, but we just need to get the magic level now. So we started alking chaos runes to uh, extract some of the XP out of the nature rune stack we have. Plus, I mean, we'd be selling these chaos runes to Ali Morrison for 50 GP each, but we can alk them for four GP each. So each one of these nature runes is letting us get four more profit. Hey, blood rune. Honestly, like I love doing baras. Like we're a UIM. We're opening a baras chest. <laughs> Every single chest, man, it's like, yeah. There we go, there's 1,000 blood runes, so now we just need to get uh, 80 magic, which we're getting pretty quick. You know, we'll also have to buy some magic gear for Saren, the final fight in Song of the Elves. So uh, is, maybe we can get one or two more items to like Alk to get our cash stack up, up a bit. We're sort of like cutting it to the bare bones of the cash stack here, because we're planning to make a bunch of money with the Gauntlet uh, or Zolcano. Both of those are really good money makers for UAM. Gauntlet's just like super fun, 
strategy fun mini game plus you get a chance at the blade of salador volcano is just a lot more chill and you get a lot of runes which you, which you can sell to ali morrison and a lot of bars which you can uh smith and then you know alk we got 80 smithing so we can we can smith up to like decent addy equipment we're gonna have to buy like mystics for the final fight and an ancient staff which is going to cost like 200k so uh hopefully we don't have to buy too many death runes we'll probably just stick here until we get i mean borrows is honestly like 100k an hour if you include alking all the items and selling all the runes to the shops and everything like you sell chaos for 50 gp so this is 100 g this is 100k worth of chaos runes so you know So when it says the uh, the chest value is like 75k, in terms of what we can sell the runes to the shop for, that ends up being around half. So you know that's like a 36, 37k chest essentially, which isn't bad at all. We definitely take that. Running barrows on a UAM probably profits like I don't know 100k, 200k an hour, which is pretty decent honestly. We're also like alking most of the items that we get, so. Oh god damn it. We uh there was 80 magic. Um so I guess we'll finish up this trip and then head over to Saren to see if we can beat her. Alright, this is gonna be the last chest that we probably do for a while. You guys ready? Cause I'm not. Alright, we just spent, I don't know, 30 minutes getting this Brudu shield. So uh, it gives plus three magic attack bonus, which is like the best that we can get because we don't have any god books. Also, it has this like kind of unique effect. You see, it's got 10 charges. It, it like reduces the defense of the enemy. 10% chance to reduce by 5% or something. So maybe that'll help us with the fight. I don't know. We're also going to sell these chaos runes that we got from Barrows to the shop. Should give us like a little over 100k. We just got like really nervous all of a sudden. This, uh, it's really setting, settling in there about to take on this boss. Uh, this is going to be the biggest hit to the cash deck. It's around, so 210k. We're not going to use the Mystic Hat because the, the Slayer Helm gives like the same bonus. So all we need is the Ancient Staff. So this is a one-time thing. You can buy the Ancient Staff. After that, you have to get it from zombies. And it's like 1, one in 5, 12 drops. So this is our current setup. This is what we're taking in there. 81 Mage bonus is not great, but we could get the God Cape, but... This is honestly, I think this should do it if we are get lucky. I'm getting really nervous. I'm getting really nervous, honestly. All right, so this is where we enter. This is where we collect if we die. I'm pretty nervous, so I think I'm just gonna take like a little walk before I do this, because I don't know, this, is, this looks like five hours of borrows to get. So if we end up losing up all these, we're gonna have to go back to borrows. And I don't really want to do that, so hopefully we can get it on the first try. The prospect of being inside Priftiness within an hour is intoxicating, but unfortunately I don't think it's going to be that easy. I said the same thing about Galvec, thinking that I beat him on my first try and then I ended up taking 29 tries to beat him. It took like two weeks, so... <sighs> okay. Okay, we just did like five minutes of yoga. I don't, I don't really know if it helps, but I feel a little bit better. Uh, we got our auto cast on Blood Blitz, we got our Magic Short Bow, we got our arrows for the healers. Got all of our inventory set up. I think at this point we're pretty much ready to go, regardless of how we feel. So let's let's do it. Let's get in there. Good luck to this guy. He's got a Legends cape. I'm not really sure what he's doing, but <laughs> if he can do it, well, he's, he's got tried it. But I'm, okay, I'm stalling. Let's let's do this.
Oh my god. Oh my god, 1 HP. Yes, that's a good time! <laughs> yes, man. <gasps> oh! this baby! First try! Pit. Shout out to Wild Mud Kit, baby, for the strategy. Oh my god. I can't believe it, you guys were in Priftinus, man. Yes, dude. Oh, my heart is pounding. We were at the end of it. Our supplies are all gone, man. Oh, God. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yes, dude. I fucking... Oh, my, my whole body's going numb. My hands are tingling. I don't know what's happening. I hope I'm not having a stroke or something. I think something's wrong. <laughs> oh, okay. I can't feel my hands. My head's like, feels weird, but let's continue this dialogue. I can't remember if I like clapped really hard and like hurt my hand. I feel like I'm about to pass out. Oh God. I can't believe it. I can't believe we did it on our first try. I can't believe it. We got a lot of sick hits. We were hitting really well. I think that's the reason why we did it. All right, backstory. And I know you're an ancient elf, but I got shit to do in there. I got, you got to let me in. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at all that XP, man. You have completed Song of the Elves. This has been the goal of the account since we started the series. Can't believe it. Straight up can't believe it. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Let's uh let's go do some gauntlet in Zolcado or something, I guess. Yeah. We need uh we need money for AD construction and we have like you know, 200k to our name, so. Oh, man, that feels so good, dude. So good. So the uh, the CC is telling me you can do Gauntlet on a UIM with inventory, and then if you die, you just, nothing happens. Even though it says it's a, a, not a safe death, so I'm going to be pretty mad if I find out that I lose my looting bag. It's a lot of cool stuff in there. It's actually, it wouldn't take me that long to get back, honestly, but hope, I mean, I obviously I don't want that to happen, so I guess we're going to go do some gauntlet. <laughs> that was a major scuff, but I mean, at least we got our first KC. <sighs> this feels amazing to be in Priftinus, honestly. All right. Uh, oh, reward chest. Ah, uh, no one KC blade. This is like better than any arrows we've ever had and just like got in like two seconds. Can't believe it. I think we're gonna go unlock uh, King's Ransom and get Chivalry going. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Okay, King's Ransom done. Some decent XP. Now we're gonna do the uh, nice training ground to unlock Chivalry. Oh yeah, look at that. And I believe, yeah, there's Chivalry. So let's head back to the gauntlet. So the gauntlet's pretty much gonna be our home now. So, uh, speaking of the gauntlet being our home, we are gonna put our home in the gauntlet. 50k sounds good to me. We need like 7 to 8 mil GP for 80 construction, and this thing gives like, I don't know, 400k GP an hour? 600k? It depends on what we get. I guess we'll find out, because we're not gonna be doing it that well. Our stats aren't that good, we only have chivalry, we don't have rigor, or piety. But, uh, I guess that means we just, uh, Grind a shitload of grind a shitload of gauntlet. Alrighty guys, we're recording this outro from about two weeks in the future. We have let our clips pile up for quite a while. But uh we've grind we've did what we said. I mean, I really wish you could see the inventory, I'm not gonna show it to you. But uh thanks for watching the video. I mean, I really appreciate each and every one of you, honestly. Um if you made it this far, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the YouTube algorithms uh, get the channel recommended out there. So uh we got some really good content coming up for you in the next one, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, but, you know, stay tuned. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. Stay safe out there. 
Love you. Bye.